so far, this anime has taught me that the best way to get to a girl's heart is, first of all, step one, stalk her. Step two, get told to fuck off. She's almost getting a restraining order against us. Step three, profit. All of a sudden, she's into us because we started ignoring her. She's like, fucking leave me alone, go away. And now she's like, why are you ignoring me? What? I, I, I guess like she has to be into him to a certain degree. It's just that she didn't know how to express it or I, I don't even know. I honestly don't know. The f she said to fuck off. We fucked off. And now she's like, what? Why are you fucking up? Whatever. Let's, let's just begin the episode. Scanty clothing. What is she wearing? Just a shirt? That's scanty? Wet t-shirt. Okay. I thought she was so sweaty. It's like a wet shirt or something. But... Little sister. She's like actually just like a sister. Yeah, look. It's identical. Hmm. She's not happy. I wonder what she's thinking. She's like, why didn't he come over? Hmm. Gee. <laughs> He said, go away! Hmm, what? You said, you said leave us alone. What, am I supposed to go talk to her? What the fuck? See, she's doing well. Let her talk to other people. What do you mean you're okay with that? That was what you guys told us to do. You said, fuck off. What do, you, what do you want? You said to leave us alone. And now you're like, hey, why don't you go talking to her anymore? Hey, hey, it's like, what? Summer uniform. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's just appreciating the outfit. But look, look, look at that side eye. Maybe she's even getting jealous that they're getting along. Koga. New girl. That's Koga? <laughs> I was gonna say, just based off of her design, she looks like the outspoken alpha athletic type, but <laughs> I'm gonna fuck my boyfriend soon. <laughs> what is this? this is good. This is good. We're getting exposed to different social circles. Specifically with different girls. Now, we gotta talk a little bit louder, right? Not obnoxious, but just loud enough for the red haired girl to notice. Now, is she around here though? If she's not here, I mean, we can still do this, right? But it's better if she kind of sees that Saju is hanging out with different groups and kind of gets jealous and, and gives a side eye, right? I, I love the jealousy. Huh? Huh? Am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they were talking about these two. I, I, thought, they, I thought they were asking a yaoi, yaoi question. Thank you. The cameraman keeps going right at the garage. Oh. Wait, this is... What? What, what the fuck? Maybe she's super jealous. I, I like Koga though. She's hilarious so far. What? How are you gonna just drag us out, slam us to a... What? Are you upset we didn't come over and eat cake with your sister? She's upset at you because you're doing exactly what she told you to do, which is leave me alone. <laughs> This is so unreasonable. Why are you crying? What do you want? Are you gonna say something? What? Alright, transition scene it is. She's actually, like, having tears in her eyes. Apologize? What the fuck do we have to apologize for? What do you want? You're talking to those girls. How dare you? A single person talk to different girls. We're not even in a committed relationship. We got fucking nothing going on. In fact, she said, fuck off. Ignore me. Leave me alone. What? And then what? She, she's upset that he's living his life? Uh, I'm, I'm probably getting way too upset at this. I'm, I'm getting way too fucking passionate about this. It's just, if you think about what she's doing, what the fuck? She drags us out, slams us to a wall, fucking starts crying, says nothing, and leaves. You think that's cute? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Fuck that bitch. I'm probably being way too upset. There, I need more time with that girl to explain herself. So far, she, I, I, I just don't like her at all. Like, if you really take a step back and think about what she's put Sajo into, 
It's so unreasonable. Like, what the fuck? I, I, I don't get it anymore, man. I really don't get it. It's because she likes you, but she actually doesn't like you. So she told you to fuck off, but she actually likes you. And now she doesn't know what to do with her feelings because you're ignoring her, even though that's exactly what she said that you should be doing. And I'm just like... Oh, what, what, what? Who's here? That's a guy. Oh, hey, isn't this uh, one of the student uh, council people? I guess he's super popular. All the girls are like, oh my god, who is that? What do you want? Why does this feel like a serious talk? How do you think? I am a normal high school student. What a weird question. On one girl. Why does he know about it? Because she said to stop. She, she said, leave me alone. She said, you creep me out. She said, I don't want you in my life. Get the fuck out of my face. Well, she didn't say that, but... Something changed. Well, the moment a soccer ball went by him, some weird shit happened and something like snapped and then... He just changed his mindset. Did he change that much? It's hard for me to say because the only Sajo that we know is the one that, like, you know, shifted as soon as the soccer ball passed away. But to everyone here, obviously, they knew a different Sajo for a long time. Uh, big, big sis? Big, big sis? No, you didn't. You're just that level. <laughs> did, she, did she say that every time? She said, hey, low bro. Just remember, you're mediocre. You're never gonna be nothing. Is that what she said? What? Did it? Big sis tell him and the rest of the student council, like, see, he's reliable, right? I thought she had a good outlook on her little brother. The popular guy POV <laughs> just walks around. All the girls are like, oh my god, it's him. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> Can't relate. Rip. What? Big sis did all that? <laughs> She's still stalking him. Like, oh, wow, really? I wonder if she would get upset at Sajo talking with this big sister. Like, would, he, would she get jealous? You're talking to other girls again, but it's like, bro, it's my fucking big sister. Oh, this is so dramatic. Like, we're just gonna talk to her at the rooftop? One on one style? <laughs> Why is she waiting like a Pokemon gym leader? <laughs> Yo, whenever. She, like, the most dramatic things happen on top of a high school rooftop, man. Is there a misunderstanding here, or is she just being very shy? Can you even name one? Can you, can, you're a good trait? Do you even have a good trait? Oh no, this is... Come on, big sis, come on. Ordinary trait. Face! <laughs> Ordinary! <laughs> you're average! You're so average! Mid! 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 What the fuck, big sis?! Bro! We said we asked her 10 good things about it. She's like, G -g -g good things? And she's like, all right, ordinary things. List like 30 different things. Big sis, are you sure you'll even like us? Happened before? They couldn't give up. You might end up the same. Did she go through a similar situation? Did she tell a guy to fuck off and then she actually... It's like the same situation between him and the red-haired girl? I wasn't serious. I only told you that you are so average, you'll, you'll become nothing, little bro. <laughs> Just... <laughs> really? Big Sis is telling us to not give up suddenly? I'm really interested in the story that she just told us, though, about the similar situation. She went through something like that? Where she was the girl that told... ...to ignore... What? Oh. 
今更優しい姉ちゃんにでもなれるじゃないか。かなラッシングアウト。俺に優しい気持ち。Just they're all just terrible things. <laughs> just, just, just listing all the shitty things that she does. In his own way, even though those things are kind of, I guess, like rude or whatever. You know, that, that's who you are, big sis, and I accept you. Even if you tell us that we'll amount to fucking nothing in life. Oh, she's back. Her voice totally changed. She's back. Why are you intruding? Why, why are you gossip? Fucking eavesdropping! This is family business! What are you doing? What are you doing? Just, I can't believe he's telling... She's telling him. I can't believe he said those things, Rose. Rude things. Did you even listen to what Big Sister said? Like, what? Liar, you're listening to the entire conversation. You're in the wrong here. What the fuck? Why are you here? Okay, and? So what? Why do you care? Huh? Yeah, let's guess, let's clear some shit out here. Why do you have such interest in us, huh? Yeah, exactly. Because subconsciously, you clearly still like him, but you can't fucking express that into words. Now she's just gonna run away. Alright, fuck off. Just, I can't do it. That girl, man, that fucking <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, she's back to Sindere mean big sis. I guess mission success. It's just. That. <laughs> that red hair girl, man. I, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. I'm taking this way too personally. Why am I getting so heated up over this? Natsuka being weird the last three episodes. All we're doing is what she told us to do. I don't think you said rude things. In fact, I think she said a bunch of rude things to you, but okay. Pork buns? I, I know she wants it. Look at her face. I'm taking a picture of Big Sis eating a meat <laughs> Now he's gonna sell these pictures at school. Who could we sell it to? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey yo, maybe we can sell it to the guy that uh, organized the meeting for us. You know. That's a baseball bat. That's straight up a baseball bat. These are direct hits I'm hearing. That's not just casual fight, it's a fucking baseball bat. Yo, I'm getting so unreasonably upset at Natsuka. I. This is- She's being unreasonable, okay? She fucking eavesdropped on her family conversation, fucking ran up to us, fucking grabbed us by the neck, was like, apologize for saying those mean things. First of all, we didn't even say that mean of things. Big Sis was shitting on us saying, you'll never be nothing. Your face is ordinary. Your height is ordinary. Your fucking personal finance ordinary. Intelligence ordinary. Dick size ordinary. No, she didn't say that, but I, I'm just like, where, where are we going with this? Natsukawa clearly is interested in Saju, but ever since she told him to fuck off, now she's kind of regretting it. I like the moments though when Saju like interacts with different girls, especially like Koga in this episode, and Natsuka gets so, so jealous. Mm, mm, I'm just like, I'm just like reaping in this, this. How do you even explain it? Like secondhand, um, em not embarrassment, but this like. Not even guilt. I just like making Natsuka feel jealous, man. That's it. I, I I just I just love this. I hope this continues. I'm gonna keep getting more upset. And inevitably, I don't know if it's gonna happen in season one, but eventually they'll probably make up and get together, right? I probably won't even be happy, bro. Unless they give me some crazy backstory, some kind of crazy character development from Natsuka's side. I'm not gonna root for this bitch, man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's not me. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.